Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm doing a bringing in the bells and makeup tutorial, which is bright blue, sparkly eyes, big lashes, and a nude lip. And I just threw on these earrings because I haven't had a chance to wear them yet. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please just keep watching. I'm going to start off with my Sigma Creme de Couture palette. And I'm going to dip into the shade Blue Chocolate just here, which is like a light pastel blue on a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start popping that on my crease. That's just going to be my like initial transition colour. Um, I've not used any warm tones in this at all. Now I'm moving into my Sample Beauty Spectrum palette. This is quite, it's a fairly good jib of the Morphe 35B, um, which does go out of stock quite a lot, but there is some in stock on Beauty Bank moment anyway, but this doesn't have as many pinks, but it's got a lot more blues in it. So I'm gonna just dip into this kind of medium blue here. And I'm gonna pop that in my crease as well, just on a slightly smaller brush. And then on my original big fluffy brush, I'm dipping into that Sigma colour again just to blend and make sure everything's nice and seamless. Now I'm going in with a deep, deep navy. So I'm going in with this shade here, this one, and I'm actually going to mix it a little bit with black. I've made this kind of messy looking arc. And then I'm gonna go in with my real techniques brush, I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna dip into that navy and that black and I'm just gonna start blending that. Original brush just to make sure it's all blended together. Gonna deepen the inner corner and outer corner just with pure black. Sorry, my voice is going. It's very early in the morning. Now we're gonna cut the crease in the center and just make that nice arc shape in preparation for putting down the glitter. And I'm just using my Makeup Forever concealer palette thing. And so I'm just gonna pop it on the center. You don't have to be precise on the lid, but you have to be quite precise when you're doing the top kind of arch. I'm just gonna use a white eyeshadow now just to pat all over that concealer and just set it in place. It's not, this isn't a particularly good white eyeshadow so I have to go in quite a few times. So that is the concealer completely set now and what I'm going to do is start blending the edges and I'm going to just take kind of nice and medium blue, that second colour we used in our crease and I'm going to start blending the edges. First of all I kind of pat it on where I want it and then I blend. back in with my blending brush and just hit that mm. corner. Where is my phone? Let's make sure it's pretty. 
And then I need to go back in with that white because I've gone too much over it at the top there. Okay, so for the glitter, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Distortion Glitter, which looks like this. It's very pretty. I'm just gonna start popping that all over the very center where all the white is basically. Concentrating it most in the very center and then kind of dragging it out a little. I really love these glitters. I just, you have to re-dip quite a lot because the little brush doesn't pick up very much. And I don't want to pull out the stopper because it dries out the product, so. This eye is definitely a lot darker than this eye. I've decided due to making a mistake and putting it on. Anyway, I'm just gonna drag this glitter a lot more into the matte dark colors as well. So kind of putting it almost all over my entire lid. So let me do that and then we'll do our other eye. So I've gone ahead and I've actually just put that glitter all over my eyelids because I felt like I made a mistake and I had to fix it somehow. <laughs> this is where my like non non professionalness comes through. But anyway, that looks okay, doesn't it? It looks very glittery and sparkly, and it's fine. So we're gonna do our eyeliner now, winged eyeliner. Stop throwing it around. And I'm gonna use my Ico Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner and Wide Lash Trademark. It supposedly grows your eyelashes as you wear it. Is that enough that's true? I don't know. Give me strength. This one's kind of running out of juice. It's just a bit annoying. Similar. Over the kind of point top of my eye eyelid, I'm going to use my collection Extreme Bold Liner because this is full of juice and it's also going to glide over that glitter a bit easier. So I'm just going to throw on my lash. The lash I am using is. This one here, which is a 3D nice lash. This is by Girls With Attitude and it's their mythical lash. Three pounds in pre-mark. Gonna throw this on and then I'll be right back. So I'm now gonna move on to skin and because it's a special occasion, it's a new year, I want my skin to last. So what I'm gonna do is mix two foundations. I'm gonna mix my Kat Von D with my Sleek Life Proof in LP04 because this is way too light, this is a bit too dark. Mix them together, hey presto, match. Like this is white, almost. <laughs> Fantastic for very, very pale people. And I'm gonna want the coverage from this foundation. The Sleek is medium coverage. So I want this for the full coverage. And then I want the Sleek to give me more depth. Pop a blob of it. I've definitely used way too much foundation. What is new? And I'm just gonna blend it all in. I think this is still a little light for me. I'll put some um face powder on and bronzer and everything, that'll be fine. But if you're looking for a foundation that's incredibly pigmented, incredible coverage, you need the Kat Von D because I cannot see my blemishes. I mean, 
No, really, my skin does look very flawless. I don't really feel like I need concealer with this foundation, but I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my collection Lasting Perfection because it's one of the steps if I don't do, I feel like I'm missing something, so. Because I use my Kat Von D foundation, I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Lock It Powder just to bake underneath my eyes, but I won't use it all over my face. And you know I take it down around my nose because that's where in the crevice of the side of my nose is where I tend to build up oil so I take it all the way around under my wing and if I want a really nice nose contour I go in with my really tiny Real Techniques sponge this is I think their eraser sponge I'm gonna almost like contour my nose with it. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Matte Maker Powder on a big fluffy brush and just stipple it on. This powder is ever so slightly too dark for me normally so it's going to add a bit of colour back to my base. Just wiping away all my bake. My first step for base makeup is always contour because I feel like that's the thing that can kind of be tricky to make natural looking. So when I do it first and then add my bronzer, blush, highlight on top of all kind of blend together. So I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Fair Contour Kit and I'm just going to start chiseling my face. So that can definitely look a little stark so far but honestly once you've got your bronzer and things on it does all just blend together. And now I'm just going around my massive forehead or five head. Making sure to get the very top. I'm going to use my favourite brush for contouring my nose and under my lip. I link it below, it's part of a set. Um, or I could use the NARS Eater brush over here. And I'm going to start. Oh, if you get this one hair, it won't leave you alone. Contouring the nose. To bronze the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with Hoola by Benefit. I'm trying to like, really pan this one before I really dig into my other one. And I'm just gonna pop that on. Turning into a bronze goddess over here, I'm kinda of loving it. I really wish I had the energy to tan all the time. Because I love how it looks, but <sighs> can't do it. I'm going to use my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit because this thing is blinding. And I'm going to mix Kitty Cat and Forever Lit together. See what I mean? Going in with the same shades on a much smaller brush just for the tip of the nose highlight. And the bridge of the nose in between the eyes. So for blush, I'm gonna use my Kiko and this is the shade number two, Smart Color Blush. Which is a sort of kind of neutral blush. On the apples of my cheeks, so I'm going to go with an even brighter pink. This is Bang Bang You're Dead 
by Makeup Revolution, the lid has disappeared. I'm just gonna smile. And just pop it there. And this blush has a sheen to it, it's very pretty. I love it a lot. I'm gonna move on to lips. I'll finish eyes probably off camera. I'm just gonna run a few blues underneath them, but I just kind of want to wrap this up so I can upload it in time. And um, for lips, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline 981. This is just one of their matte lipsticks. It's one of my favourite nudes from the drugstore. It's quite light, but that's why I like it. I'm just going to refine the shape using my Primark lip liner. It's that lipstick, I think it's beautiful. Quite peachy, very nude. Probably would look a bit crazy on deeper skin tones. Unless you like that kind of bold, stark look, which I do. I'm just going to finish off my under eyes and then I'll be back and we will pose for the camera. I've just decided I want to put on a bit more sparkle so I'm just putting this, the Urban Decay liner in my inner corner and just dragging it a little bit on my lower lash line as well. I actually like that it's turning out quite like messy, I'm not trying to be really precise with it. And of course we want this makeup to last all day, all night, into 2018. So I'm going to go in with my collection Primed and Ready Makeup Fixing Spray. This is a really good one at the drugstore. And that is it guys, that is my finished look for bringing in the bells for 2018. Blue sparkly eyes, nude lips, perfect skin, highlight. Yeah, I really hope you like this look. So thank you so much for watching this video and um, thank you for everyone that has clicked subscribe to me in 2017. I kind of restarted my channel back in October and I kind of got like pretty much 2,000 followers since then which is really exciting followers, subscribers. I'm thinking of Instagram. So please don't forget to subscribe to me if you would like to see lots more tutorials, reviews, makeup stuff. Please like this video, please leave a comment down below and most of all please have a really good, safe, fun and enjoyable new year. If you are not doing anything like me, then I hope you find a nice movie to watch and have a good cup of tea and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!